It's been three exciting days at the Africa Internet Business Summit, and I'm here with one of the participants who has been here from the inception. Please, can you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Godwin Benson. Godwin Benson, it's great to have you. Now, can you share with us what you've learned about uh, through these three days of the summit? Uh, actually, I've learned a lot of things. I came here very, very expectant, you know, because I know that the internet is the fastest um, wave of income for any person or business. So I came expecting to learn. I have learned a whole lot from um, how to start off actually, how to start off with any idea practically and begin to make money fast online. You know, while some of the classes were going, going on, um, I, you know, there's this be belief that making money quick is either wrong or impossible, you know, in my mind. So, but with the practical examples that we've had, people um, starting up making up real products and selling them online and making sales within a few days. You know, it's quite um, 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 amazing and realizing that these same opportunities are open to us in Nigeria. Some people have taken advantage of that, but then with this seminar, at least a whole lot of us would take advantage of that. And in fact, we do not even need to create a product. We learned that you could actually sell someone else's product and make a lot of money from, from that. And several other ways, um, the, from the real estate and how to actually do it effectively for both a person or a business. You know, it has been mind-stretching. I was so amazed because it's an eye-opener for most of us that say they're looking for jobs, especially the youth, people that just graduated and they are still looking for jobs, even students that are home basically because of the strike now, the ASU strike that they, that's going on now. So uh, I would say if there's any way we can expose this to the government, especially all the states, to you know showcase this to all the the states for their teenagers and for the youths to get something going for themselves. Even especially the, some women that are home, they can also you know get themselves something doing to start a career in internet marketing, social network management, at least to get something to do instead of staying at home and no job, keep complaining about the country, at least we can help ourselves too. So I hope um, Dr. Ope Banwo can, you know, escalate this to all the states so that it can help in employment for the youth and for all the unemployed. So think about how you can get people to pay you to sell to them. What business are you already in? How can you, how can you get people to pay you to sell to them? Mr. Graphic Designer, one of the things that we've done with Graphic Design is we put a gig up that says, I will look at your logo and tell you if it's going to be a hit with your brand, if you're really reaching your brand audience by this logo. Of course, if the logo wasn't any good and we told them why, what do you think they asked us to do? You as the marketer for this program, you're going to be bringing that message to the market, that people can grow up in their lives and not be a renter for the rest of their lives. You see, the same thing that's happened here is what's happening in America as well, is that many folks cannot qualify for a loan and therefore in their mind they see themselves, their whole future is as a renter. That they're never going to own anything, they can't even imagine the possibility of owning a home. And here we come along with a message that says, oh yes you can. And not only that, our company will be the bank for you. There's only three things to growing a business. And it, 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 really, this, this is, it really boils down to, some people try to overcomplicate growing your business. And that's when they start to lose money, they start to do other things. But growing a business really comes down to three things. Go ahead. Number one, you've got to get more customers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the three High, high level topics and then we'll go into each one of those. Number one, write it down, get more customers. I don't care if you're doing it online, offline, dragging them in off the street, I don't care. Number one, you've got to get more customers. That's number one. Number two, you've got to get customers to buy more often. Once you have a customer in the door, you've got them to buy more often, okay? Really simple process. Number three, get them to spend more money, right? 
The number one lesson I've learned that's helped me a lot is that the market is right here in Nigeria. Your market is right here in Nigeria. As an internet marketer, internet entrepreneur, whatever you want to call it, and even as an entrepreneur in general, if you want to make money, your target market should be the local market. It's going to help you in a lot of ways. You're going to understand the market more. You're going to, you're going to be able to deal with your customers faster, quicker. You're going to be able to attend to them, have a better relationship with them. You, they are, and the market is so huge. You don't, let, don't let anybody deceive you that people don't use the internet in Nigeria. The population of those that use the internet in Nigeria is more than the populations of countries, like I stated earlier on. Okay? And I don't know how many Nigerian billionaires actually targeted the foreign, foreign market to do their business. No, they targeted this market. I didn't see Dangote going out to target American market to sell his sugar or to sell his rice. I didn't see uh, Adenuga using Glow to go and compete with Sprint in America or, 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 or T-Mobile in America. This is their market here. And this is the market you should explore a lot. If I had targeted Americans, or, no, sports betting is illegal in America. If, if I had targeted the UK, Germany, Australia with Nairobi, do you think we'll be this big? No. But I targeted the market here, and they're all hearing about Nairobi over there. On the third and final day of the Africa Internet Business Summit, it was a wonderful moment as presentations were made on the viability and the value that the internet service brings, its online presence, the impact it can make for adverts and organizational transformation, and indeed also how it can generate content with the value for the service. Participants at the event shared how they learned for three days a new dimension of internet marketing and how it's going to help them profit in their business models.